there so I don't lose it. So today, I'm gonna fix this. There's really no wear rod left on that, so I'm gonna see what I can do. I'm gonna clean that up, weld something onto it. This little part here seems to be missing. I'll fix that, and then I can do something about this spring here. Okay, well, I'm gonna take this in, let this thaw out by the stove while I go find myself something I can use to weld on there for a wear rod. Stick around. That's good. I need more here. I ended up adding, I took the springs off the other ski as well, so I doubled the springs up just to give me some more height here. So what I'm going to do now is move that ahead. Tighten that up. Um, if I actually take this Put this on here, I could probably tighten that up even more. Yeah. There, maybe. will be sprung heavier than the three-quarter ton truck. Yes, I know this is not a good idea to start, to start them like that, but I'm doing it. should tap that straight first because I know the only problem with, the only problem with too many springs is it can wiggle a bit sometimes. they can flex a little wee bit let me loosen this up here Yes, it's not a hammer. Let's see what we do. Hmm, I'm gonna have a bit of play. I think that part's good now. Now I'm gonna do something with this. That. But I brought down some different size wear rods. And I'll start off by putting a piece in here, right here, right in here somewhere. Then I'll weld a large one right over the top, I think. I'm not sure. Or maybe just like this. Yeah, I'll probably do something just like that, I think. Alright. Let's see if that's... Nope, that's not right through. That's good. Righty. That's going to be good. Okay. Now I'll get the welder and I'll set her up and we'll weld that bottom on.
out of gas. I guess I'm not as slow as I thought I was with a welder. That's good. Yeah, that's good.
side. How about this side? Yeah, it needs a bit more here for sure.
think it looks good. Thanks. I think it should do a little. No, I think we're okay there. I want to clean this off a little bit here, grind that down, put some stuff away. I'll bring the grinder out. Let's see how that works. How does that look? Good. The profile of it's good, eh? I think so. I'll turn it around here. Let's see what it looks like on the other side here. There you go. Yep, I think it looks good. Now I'll put that on and see how that works. Getting it up into place here is fun. Holy mackerel! That thing. There we go. I'm gonna tap that through. Grab this nut. Once I do this, then I have to uh, adjust the tracks a little tighter. If I get in deep snow, they slip a little bit if I'm pulling a load. I don't like that. I can hear the sprockets trying to grind a bit. In the track, I can feel them slipping. See here? That's tight, there's no play. I'm gonna tighten up a little bit more though. Moves good. Let's see here now. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's sitting higher now at the front. Yeah, well I'm gonna I'm gonna start it, see what it's like. Haven't had this runny yet today at all. I'm gonna grab a different hat again, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, it seems like sitting really high at the front now. That's what you want. So I doubled up on the springs. Extra wear rod, let me see here. Charm now. Good. Perfect. That's good. I like it. Well, I'm gonna take it for a little run. Okay. See what it's like. Okay. I'll show you back shortly. Okay. That ski was a success. It turns really good and look at how far in that rod bites. <laughs> so it's not catching on the right hand side. I'm not sure if it's because the ski is twisted or because I was turning. I kind of think it was because I was turning, but so here it's catching on the, yeah, see here? It's catching on both sides when I don't turn because the skis lean on these things, right? So that's what happened. Oh, I also brought my set of bobsleds back too because we're probably, probably going to start hauling some logs out soon and get out of that building. A few things I want to do to this that's been bothering me since I built it. The one thing is this right here. This picket is leaned in a little bit, so I'm gonna cut that off, push it out and straighten that and weld her up again. And eventually I'm going to build a box on that too, so we can haul firewood with it. Heather can use this one sleigh until I get a hitch built for the other sleigh we have like that one. But now I have to tighten up the tracks because if I go to turn left in the snow and I pick up that left track, the sprockets slip a little bit. So I'm gonna tighten that up. This here, well, they don't look great where they're welded on there, but you know, that'll be okay, whatever. I'll hammer that straight maybe later. But for now, it's basically just to, to lift the ski if I have to, but it backs up really good in snow too, because I welded that little piece at the back a long time ago. So the back of the ski kind of turns up a little wee bit. Yeah, my hands are still dirty. <laughs> So that is another successful repair. It will turn really sharp. I, I'm glad I tried it out on the road. 
turns really good. It turns pretty good in the snow as well. Uh, you can't see here, but anyways, I turned. So here I brought the sleigh down. Brought the sleigh down, disconnected it. And then I pulled the head up to here, up to there. Right here, in fact, you can see what it's like in the, in the, in the, you know, softer snow. You see how far down in that, that rod goes? That's my finger. And if I get to the side, you see, that's how much it's sinking in. So it's going down in there. Oh, inch and three quarters, inch and five eighths. And then I back it up to here. Backs up to here. And it turns around here. And then I back it on into there. I might pop this windshield off. Take it in the basin and go at that with some of that uh, some of that polishing compound. See if I can't get that paint off there. Uh, pretty expensive. I priced one. Oh, is that all cracked? Man, I don't know if that's cracks or just scratches. I'm not sure. I'm not too. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna bother with that hood. Anyways, that's it for this little video, folks. Hey, if you don't mind, give me a little thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And thanks for stopping by uh, Cecil Shade Tree Garage again today. And leave me a little comment. Like I say, that thing now has sprung. Well, not like a three-quarter ton truck. But, uh, boy, there's a lot of springs on there now, I tell you. It still bounces up and down. Not not bounce, but I mean, it'll still go up and down, which is good. And uh, when I go to back up, you see, when I built this, see how I sloped the back end of that ski up there? Oh, is it, can you see that? Yeah, see that ski there sloped up a little bit. So when I go to back up, it doesn't try to jam and and uh, stick on me. So that's good. Well, I'm gonna tighten up this track later and let you know how that goes. Bye bye all.